Right, it's been a while since I did my last video on my Enterprise, I think. I have to, no idea when I put all this together. But I think, what was I doing? Well, I have done the, I've uh, put the heat sink on. I've put a blue LED, power LED, because why not? I've replaced all the ceramic disc capacitors. I've replaced the two linear regulators with switching versions. Heat sinks on here because um, this is the 512k RAM expansion. So I've got it connected there. That's expansion one. And I'm just waiting on some connectors. So we can do uh, it's a single row of 10 to a double row of five, so still 10, so 10 to 10. So I'm just waiting on those connectors so I can make up the cable. So whilst I do that, not too sure about these ceramic heat sinks. That's all I had at the time. Let's see how they go. But I will, next thing I'll work on is the RGB output, the video output. I've removed the RF modulator, you know, the, the TV output. Also, I'll remove that. Um, and what I did on my Enterprise 128 is I wired in a 8-pin DIN uh, socket and then drilled a hole and everything in the case. But I have found in my box of bits this uh, mini DIN connector, which is actually, uh, I think it's PS2, PS2 type connector. So let me just stop this and we're back. And there is, so that's where the, um, the, the RF modulator output was. And this PS2 connector seems to fit perfectly in the existing hole. So it's got enough, it's got enough, um, outputs for what we need. Um, still not sure what I'm going to do with it. But first of all, so I'm going to put it there so I can drill the two holes. Then I'll be able to mount it. The reason why I want to drill the holes and mount it is so that I can, if I ever want to pull the motherboard out again, I just have to unscrew that because this is going to be soldered onto there. So this monitor output if we have a look on here, a professional filming setup. So we've got uh, what have we got left and right audio, composite sync, RGB, and there is also actually horizontal and vertical sync, I believe, as well. Uh, that's the actual output there. Green, yeah. B sync. Oh no, H sync. I've got my glasses here. Horizontal, vertical sync, composite sync. So I've got two choices really. I can just have this purely for video. So RGB, ground, and then composite, horizontal, and vertical sync. Or RGB, ground, composite sync, left, right, audio. I'm thinking that I might have the audio separate because there is space there that I could put a Put the um, so three three point five mm plug. So that is what I'm doing next. So connector for that. Oh, I need to also I've upgraded the ROM, so I need to burn the two point four version of the ROM, um, and then wire up a new video plug. So I think I do have some PS2 mice around. I might just cannibalize the cable um, and use that one to create a new cable for my RGB box. Anyway, so that's that's where I'm at with the Enterprise. No idea, no idea where my last videos ended up. So let's see. Quick little test fit. Looks okay. So the um, I've made it three millimeter holes. The uh, holes actually on here were smaller. They looked to be about two millimeter. So I've just drilled them out to be three millimeter. Um, and that sits in there quite nicely. Like that. Put 
uh, two screws through it. And then it's just a matter of um, connecting up uh, the wires as appropriate. And let's say if I'm going to have separate audio out, then I can maybe stick a, a 3.5 millimeter socket there. Just have that separate. And then it's just a matter of making out the cable, which isn't, well, isn't too difficult. Depends on how thin the wires are. There we go. All done. Uh, yep. So that should be right. You've got what's underneath this piece of paper. So this is the B side. Uh, B1 not connected. B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, and then you've got uh, A1 and A7. I think it is. What have I done it? A1 and A7, yep. So this is the green underneath, and this is the whichever audio. Whichever audio it is. A7, left audio. Left audio, right audio. Um, yeah, so uh, I just have to make up a cable now. Uh, like I said, I might have to cannibalize an old mouse and then whack that, uh, have the mini DIN connected to a 8-pin, 8-pin normal size DIN. Let's see. 